No matter how hard they've tried, Josh and Jordan can't sell their house. We're just stumped. The couple's efforts inside haven't impressed potential buyers. That would never work for me. If the buyers make it inside at all. Oh my goodness, look at that door. But I'm here to help. The more people you get through the door, the more likely you're going to get a sale. With a budget of $5,000 and some smart design and staging tips, I think buyers are going to notice the difference. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. Listed as one of the top 10 US cities to visit, Savannah, Georgia is known as the hostess of the South. Not only rich in natural beauty, culture, and history, the city's welcoming vibe can be felt in its many restaurants, cafes, and attractions. It's no wonder houses here are snapped up quickly, except this one. This 1,600-square-foot, three-bedroom, two-bath house, listed at $185,000, has been on the market for almost four months. Curb appeal is vital if you want to entice a buyer. Your house might be perfect on the inside, but if it looks poorly maintained or run down on the outside, you're not going to get people through the door. Josh and Jordan and their daughter Madden need to sell their house. We're actually talking about expanding our family, and we're a little short on space here. We're also on a fairly busy highway, and going outside with Madden, we have to be really careful. She's too, she's small, but she's quick, very quick. But despite their desire for a new house, they've only had three showings and no second viewings. We have tried everything. We've tried staging our house. We went to my mother's house to borrow everything. The chairs and the couch and her kitchen table, everything. No matter what we do paint-wise, swapping furniture around, that kind of thing, it doesn't it seem doesn't to be... It doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't it's not bringing play, people back. It doesn't... Right. Nothing on the outside is saying, come in and buy me. I wonder what the inside is going to say. So your house has been for sale for four months. That's right. got to be tough. Getting yeah. the point where I want things to happen. Well, what would be great is if you could show me around, and then I can see where the problem areas are, and then we can go from there. Sounds good. This is our living room, which we love. Lots of patterns. Yes. Pink and stripes and flowers and paisleys. And polka dots. And polka sweet. dots. Yes. It's Trying to appeal to, you know, everyone. everyone. And so this is the home office. Again, we've got quite a lot of stuff going on. You need a place for your computer, but the problem is that's probably not the best place for it. And here's the dining room. Wow. Nothing said by me like a pug with wings. Oh, it's our princess. That's our family pet. <laughs> and then we have our laundry area. Right. In the dining room. And we don't have a door on one side. I can see why this is going to put buyers off. Right. Because people like a dedicated laundry room and then a formal dining room. And the combination of food and clothes is right. like, Right, ah. it's just. And then this. Hmm. Doesn't look like you're doing a lot of entertaining out here. Yeah. Well, we bought this nice patio furniture. Yeah, it's and great. Buy it and, and then pile it up. And not kind of storing it out here. Storing yeah. it, yeah. Right. You've got to think of outside space, not just as the yard, but as an extension of the house. It's all about creating an ambiance, creating atmosphere. You don't feel like this would be a cocktail party area right now? <laughs> no. This is a wasted no. space. I hate seeing wasted space. This is our guest room. What is going on here? You've got a door, a ironing board. Yes. Were you trying to entice people into the room with this lovely uh, yes, shade of mud? We were trying to decide about a paint color and we decided against that. So is it fair to say this is just a dumping ground for your junk? It is. I'm afraid so. we definitely got something to do in here. Would you like to see our bedroom? I can't wait. <laughs> now, this is our master bedroom. These are the lovely closets that don't really work. You've got a lot of closet space. Of closet. It could be a selling feature, but at the moment, it's just not doing it. No. I like your color choices. You just need to finish the job. And then you've got this big bed, and this room just feels small. Now, to address what I think is this home's biggest issue. I think the main problem is the curb appeal. I mean, look, you've got peeling, pillars, mm -hmm. this door. But what I think would be really, really good as to have an open house. I'm scared. You might not like what they say, but it's going to help us make those changes that we need to make to get this house sold. Whatever it takes. 
Houses in this neighborhood sell between $179,000 and $250,000. At $185,000, Jordan and Josh's house is priced to sell. But according to realtor Lori, they're hardly getting any showings. In this market, in Savannah, things have got to show perfectly or else they're not going to sell. You've got to get it perfect to get the buyers in. I've asked Lori to organize an open house so we can get some buyers through the door. Then I'll report back exactly what they're saying. These definitely have to be done. Oh, definitely. At least paint them. There is a lot going on in here with the red and the chairs and then the well, stripes and the sofa. Matches. Jordan and Josh's house could be so cute. And unfortunately, the uses of space are a little confusing. With your washer and dryer in there? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I didn't see that. I think now. this is an afterthought as a dining area. Well, that would never work for me. It looks like a great size yard, but the yeah. patio needs some cleaning or whatever. Well, I am shocked that they would put this house on the market with the doors leaning against, against the, the wall. Exactly. All right, this must be the master bedroom. Oh, my goodness. Closet. You have got to be wow, kidding me. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not sure I could imagine myself mm -hmm. here. There's too much work to be done. Either we'd make improvements to the home, take it off the market, or drop the price considerably. Now it's time to sit Jordan and Josh down and give them the news. Can you guess what most people said first off the bat? Somebody with the door. The curb appeal. Some buyers didn't want to come in the house. Some people said that they were shocked that anyone would put their house on the market in that state. Oh, ouch. The way you sell your house is you get the most people through the door. If you're cutting down that amount of people by half because they're not even walking in the front door, that's not good. So that's really something that we've got to address. Now, when they came into the dining room, what do you think they said? Is this a dining room? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, the bedrooms, they thought that the room was small, but in actual fact, it's not small. People said this was a great starter home, but it needed too much work. Are you prepared to get your hands dirty? Yes. Absolutely. Excellent. This house has been on the market for four months, and I tell you what, I am not surprised. With my $5,000 budget, I'm going to change that. Inside, the living room feels cramped because of its long shape and mismatched furniture. We'll remove the desk and replace the existing furnishings with smaller pieces more to scale. We'll complete the look with a beautiful area rug matching throw pillows and accessories. The dining room is not ideal because the laundry room's there and they're not really making the most of it. First, I'll conceal the laundry and reconfigure the furniture for better flow. We'll brighten the window with new curtains and add a new dining room table and chairs. And the guest bedroom, I'm going to turn it into a home office because I think they really could do with that. I'll repaint the walls, replace the bed with a new desk and chairs, and add colorful accents. The master bedroom's not looking great. You've got missing doors, odd paint swatches, a ginormous bed. In the master, we will replace the giant bed with a smaller one from the guest room, which I will give a fresh decorative touch to. New window treatments and linens will complete the look. We're going to make the entertaining space outside really, really fantastic. So I've immediately put Josh and Jordan to work cleaning the back patio. All right, so let's start putting it away. Where do you begin? Buyers love this fireplace, but at the moment, you can't even see it because it's full of clutter. So we're going to get rid of that and open it up. Fireplaces are on many buyers' must-have list, so it's vital it shows as an attractive focal point rather than a spot for leftover stuff. I'm not sure what that is. Some curtains. If you've got a feature like a fireplace, there's no point hiding it. It's a feature, you've got to show it off. Look, guys, you've done an amazing job. Why didn't you do this four months ago? Just needed the proper motivation. You needed the bossy British girl, didn't you, to tell you what to do? Keeping your home looking fantastic on the outside can be a big job but I can't stress the importance of curb appeal enough. That's why I'm sending the couple to view a similar home in their neighborhood. This 1,800 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house, listed at $250,000, sold in just under a year, and its well-kept exterior may be part of the reason. This is very nice. Yeah, they have an actual flower bed up front. Their walkway looks nice. Here, I feel like I want to go inside and actually see what's in it. This is nice. I love the open. But that's kind of like what we have. Yeah, we do have the open, but ours just feels choppy. It's staged well. No wonder why it's sold. I love the dining area. There's a laundry area. 
nice door, locking it. And you just nice close it off and you're done. You don't have to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, this is nice. Yeah, they got a nice big bed like we have, yet there yeah. seems to be... Not so cramped. But I don't think our room is that much smaller, though. It just feels like it. Yeah. Well, we need to figure out real quick uh, what they did that we're not doing. Well, I mean, I, I think, think it's pretty obvious what yeah. they did. They actually staged their home. It just makes such a big difference. It makes them welcoming. Get some more people coming and taking a look. Right. We need the traffic. Back at the house, we're clearing out the living room and sending all the mismatched furniture back to Jordan's mum's house. Everybody Where did everything what go? What happened in here? You leave us in your house for a little bit and we take away all your furniture. How was the comparable house? It was eye-opening, definitely. Uh -huh. You should see the front of their house versus ours. And then what was it like inside? The yeah. colors were great. They were soothing. They were neutral. And the bedrooms? They probably had the same size of bed we do, but it seemed much more spacious. So you've learned a lot. Yes. Excellent. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to finish up here, and if you get your work clothes on, I have some projects for you. Perfect. Started. Let's Excellent. go. Excellent. With this space cleared out, the team immediately get to work putting up a nice pale grey in the bedroom. Keeping the contrast low between the wall colour and the furniture will make the room feel bigger. Now, Josh, you knew we'd end up here eventually, right? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. Yeah, you know, dead trees and brown leaves work for some people, but uh, first-time home buyers, not so much. So I'm finding out. Yeah, we're going to clear it all out, dig up these trees, let people see your house. OK. All right. Sounds okay. good. Let's do that. All right, let's get to work. Yep. That's just bouncing off of it. <laughs> Those bushes were hard. Now you see why these are still here. Yeah. They had some fight to them. Yeah, that's not are moving you a lot. Trying? Josh was a little timid at first, but uh, once he took that machete, he was like a man possessed. Die. Die now. <laughs> Go away. Good man. Good man. That put a hurting on it. You're doing a good job. But I'm not done yet. Good man. There's more to come. You're feeling it now, see? Took a lot of effort, but I think we've done a lot of good. Now that it's done, it looks fantastic. I'm exhausted, but I feel great. We did a lot. In this heat, we got down and dirty, dug out those trees, and kept the energy high, and we got a lot done. The inside of the house is taking shape, but the biggest transformation has definitely been on the outside. It's beginning to look really, really great. It's really important that the outside of the house looks fabulous, so buyers want to come inside. Pressure washing is a really cheap and easy way to get the front of the house clean. OK, you're going to help me, so we just need to pick a big well in the middle like that. There you go. Potted plants like this are a great way of adding a bit of colour to the front of the house. They're going to look really, really pretty. And as long as you remember to water them a lot, they should last for a good long time. Now that the outside's really shaping up, inside I've got a great staging trick to show Jordan. When you're selling your house, you want it to be neutral, but no one wants to live in a white box. We've got these really great photographs that we're going to put up in what was the guest bedroom. I like them. Great colours. It's just so easy. You just take photographs and then you blow them up and you buy these illustration boards and mats. These sort of picture frames. You get them from any shop and they're really not expensive at all. Just put it in and it will look really, really professional and colourful. That is perfect. So put it on like that. If you just centre them like that mm -hmm. and just tape it in the corners like that, then we'll just put it in. And the best thing is they're going to tie in with the furniture, they're going to add a bit of colour and then just clip it in. That is really easy. So, what do you think? It looks great. The colors really just pop. The frame is awesome. So easy to do. That's no. amazing. Perfect. Thank you so much. Love it. We're nearly complete, but before the finishing touches, we say goodbye to Josh and Jordan. We showed those trees it was boss, right? Yes, we did. But now it's time for you guys to leave, so the reveal's a bit of a surprise. We have a lot of work to do. Yeah, Can't y'all wait. Do. Thank you. See you Thanks later. Let's go before they make us work. <laughs> <laughs> The dining room had a number of problems. I mean, who wants to eat dinner while looking at their washer and dryer? So we added trim around the frame, added some nice shuttered doors, 
it's hidden, but it looks great. These white marble chips are fab. They add to the curb appeal because they're nice and bright, but they're also low maintenance. They keep the weeds down and they also keep the moisture in the soil so you don't have to water the plants as much. Before the living room wasn't really working and it was not easy on the eye, but now we've moved the furniture around, taken away those crazy patterns, taken out the home office, repositioned the television and painted the room this really lovely blue colour. And I think buyers are going to notice the difference. Having the laundry room in the dining room was really putting buyers off because who wants to see that when they're eating? But moving them was not an option, so these brand new doors hide the evidence. This guest bedroom was definitely not a selling feature. It was more a dumping ground for unwanted household items. But that's now all changed. We've turned it into a fantastic, flexible office space that I can really imagine buyers using. So come on up, guys, to your new house. Looks like a different house. I it's know. It's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I'm just in shock. I remember buyers were just not even coming through the door. And now they're going to drive past and it looks well maintained, it looks presentable. Oh my god, I cannot believe just how everything's changed. So look, we've got oh. brand new shrubs, brand new flowers. Oh, look, we have a bench. I'm so excited. And you've got your new white outside lights matching the door. I love it. If someone had said we were going to paint the trim and the pillars black, what would you have thought? Oh, I, I couldn't I wouldn't imagine. have thought that. No. no. <laughs> but this looks so so what do you think of all your hard work pulling the trees out? It's paid off. It sure looks like it. It, it looks fantastic. It looks amazing. You really did do a great job. It's like a fresh start, so hopefully it's going to get it sold. It has to. Well, if you're excited about the outside, I'm really looking forward to you seeing the inside. So should we get on in there? Yes, please. Let's go. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look how pretty. Wow. The room is completely turned around. Oh, my god. Yes. It doesn't look like the same room, does it? Before it just felt a bit darker, but now it's really bright. The sitting room felt quite narrow. Mm -hmm. So we just flipped, we moved the sofa to there, gave you a few little blue armchairs, add some yeah. colour. I think it's fun and oh, young. Yes. It all kind of works together, though. It does all work oh, together. No perfect. clashing patterns. It looks bigger. It does look bigger. The space looks bigger. It really is. Perfect. And do you recognise this piece of furniture? Yes, it's from when I was a child. I love <laughs> it. I love everything. Wait till you see the dining room. <sighs> Oh, this is oh. so nice. It actually feels like a dining room. It oh. is a dining room, but also you've almost got two rooms for the price of one because you've got this little seating area here. Yeah. These chairs are great. And then you've got your dining area. And we took away all the stuff that was in the fireplace. Yeah. Rather than hiding the fireplace, it's where we can see it. Yeah, and we put the fern there because, you know, add a bit of colour. But you can see it's a fireplace and it's not covered. It doesn't have all this stuff in it. Oh, this room. Remember what, what were the exact words they used? They said that this room felt like an afterthought. Mm-hmm. It certainly doesn't feel like an afterthought now, does not it? At all. Not. And look, we have hidden the laundry room. What a difference that makes. Just doors. Who need doors can make that much of a difference? I love the green table. That's amazing. And the best thing about this green here is that it leads the eye out to your new patio. This space has been completely transformed. This is amazing. One of the negatives before was that the backyard was just not very nice. And now look at it. It's oh, nice. It's lovely. It's the really yard looks amazing. It is beautiful. I can't believe the change. It's remarkable. What do you think about your retro cooler? Awesome. We've got some solar-powered lanterns which light up at night. Very cool. Now we got rid of the palm tree, we mowed the lawn, we put flowers in. It's a different yard. It really is. It's a usable space now. Would well, you want to come and see the rest of the house? Yes, please. Oh hey. my. This looks like an office. Oh my goodness. This office is killer. This is no longer a dumping ground for ironing boards and old cupboard doors. No. This is a cool, funky office 
definitely can see myself working in here. I'm going to have to find working. an office type job <laughs> so I can do this a little more. If you're excited about this room, you are going to be bowled over when you see your bedroom. Yes. Oh wow. my. It's a new room. Oh my goodness. I don't know okay. where to begin. <laughs> There's so much space now. Some of the comments we had from the open house were they said that the master bedroom was too small. Well, no one can say that now because there's acres of space. Look, I, there's the mirror. I can get up in the morning, yes. get dressed, look in the mirror. You've got all this space. You can open the cupboard doors. It's a different room. It is. <laughs> Madden's going to love all this extra space. Yeah. Most important thing is that buyers love it. That's true. Someone's going to buy this house now. Oh, yeah, they definitely will. After looking at the house and all of the work that y'all put into it, we are definitely going to get some offers now. I know it's going to sell. I feel great about all the changes they made. I feel like this is the kind of thing that's going to get this house sold, and that's what this is all about. Josh and Jordan love the changes, so we've brought back our potential buyers to get their thoughts on the house. Oh my god, I love it. I cannot believe the difference. It's so bright and cheery. It looks bigger, a lot bigger now. This is fantastic. I don't know how they're gonna move from here because it's really inviting. It's so much more spacious and it's coordinated throughout the house and yet it has touches of really interesting artwork. Lauren and her daughter Taylor can't sell their house. Data design, wallpaper, and more wallpaper are leaving buyers unimpressed. It's pretty hideous. And that's just part of the problem. Air freshener lampshades? No. So with a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, in the end, I think this is what buyers are going to love. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. I'm really blown away. I'm so different. We're in Comac, New York, an upscale suburb with boutique shopping and great restaurants. Houses in this community sell quickly and fetch top dollar for square footage. But this one's still on the market. This house has 1,750 square feet of space, three bedrooms and one bar. Listed at $379,000, it's been on the market for eight months. In a buyer's market, knowing your competition is everything. If you want a quick sale, your home needs to be comparable in price and design to other houses of a similar footprint. In neighborhoods where buyers pay top dollar for square footage and you have an extension, you want to showcase your extra space. The best way to do this is to keep your design simple and elegant. Lauren has lived in this house for the last 24 years, and it's time to make a move. My kids are grown, and I just want to get out of my house and move on with my own life. Taylor's ready to move too, and knows what might help. Oh, oh Taylor, come on, just move to the side a little bit. I tell my mom all the time things that we need to do to really fix the house, and really that would really help itself. Our kitchen needs to be updated. Our wallpaper needs to be taken down. I think it's just time to update our house. It's living in the past, and so is she. But Lauren needs some motivation. Right now, it's not where my mind is. My mind isn't in, into redecorating a house. So I haven't done anything. This house is on a great cul-de-sac, which is perfect for families and people who like quiet and privacy, and houses in this market are selling at healthy prices. So I wonder what the problem is. So your house has been on the market for eight months. That yeah. must be difficult. It's a long time, a very long time. Are you leaving home? What are your plans? Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> We've been here a long time. There's nothing for me. I'm single, and time for us to separate and move on. Separate and move on. Right, so we need to get this house sold. Well, the best thing to do is if I take a tour around the house, and then I can see what the problems are, and then we can go from there. Oh, great, great. So, this room, foyer, living room, what do you use this for? We don't even sit in here. You never use it? Never. Thanksgiving. We'll Thanksgiving. We'll put a big table in here right. and everyone kind of hangs out. I see you've got some old pieces and new pieces. Are you the designer here? Do you have a particular style? I like to just put things from different places together. Mix and match. An yeah. eclectic palette. Yes, that's what I would say. <laughs> and tell me about this room. 
This is our den. It was our garage, and we turned it into like a family room, so a sitting room to watch TV. Extensions are a fantastic way of adding square footage and adding value. The only problem is, is sometimes people worry. They don't know who built it. You know, do you have the right building certificates? What about the wiring and the plumbing? Now, um, I'm going to guess that this is a sponging, stippling job. There's two things my mom loves. It's wallpaper and sponge paint. Yeah, I see. My two rules. No wallpaper, <laughs> no sponge paint. Sorry, Mom. That was then. <laughs> I know exactly. That was then. We need to make your house now. And you always, when you're selling, you want to make your house feel as contemporary and clean as possible. So this is a huge pink sofa. You've got this big sofa and then that table. Do you eat in here? No. no. With the corner sofa that close to the table, it, it feels cluttered and crowded. Whereas if you pare down the furniture, the room immediately feels bigger. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of wallpaper. <laughs> Where did it come from? Probably 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. It was white. I wanted some color. I worked with a decorator in a wallpaper store. I like your spirit. I just want to find that decorator and give her a talking to. I have a problem with wallpaper in the kitchen for a purely practical reason. It's more humid because you're cooking, you know, there's grease. People like surfaces that you can wipe down, and you can't wipe down wallpaper, so I just don't think it's a practical place, and especially not floral wallpapers <laughs> with floral borders. <laughs> you can have too much of a good thing. I love the fact that you have an eaten bar there. It gives people somewhere to sit in the kitchen. Right. But this is going to lead on to my next question, because from here, I'm seeing a dining room table, a breakfast bar, and then you've got a dining room table game in there. table. I'm sorry, but most people look at a table and don't think of a game table. They look at a table and think of eating. They do not think of family games, games. night. And it's just taking up space. I cannot wait to get rid of that table. <laughs> what have we got here? I feel like this is like the Willy Wonka room where you could like scratch and sniff and actually lick it too. I'll tell you what, if you could lick that wallpaper and it tastes like apples, it would stay 100%. <laughs> it's a selling feature. I have to say, I have never ever seen black floral wallpaper this is a first I mean do you find this room gets dark when I first put this on and I told my kids I was doing black they were like no 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 and then when it was up it really looked really nice it looked like there was a contrast it looked really nice people see this amount of wallpaper there and think oh this is gonna be a big job and that's added cost I didn't want to take it down because I didn't want to pull it down and get work exactly and so buyers aren't gonna want to do the work either but the good news is, is we're here to do the work and on that note, I think it'd be fantastic if we have an open house and we can get the feedback from the buyers and then we can go from there. That's great. Good. Houses in this neighborhood are selling for between $365,000 and $445,000. Lauren's listed at $379,000. is priced right, but buyers just aren't biting. Lauren and Taylor's house, it's a three bedroom ranch. We're in a nice quiet cul-de-sac. The market is good in this neighborhood. The biggest drawback, which I've discussed with Lauren, is that the kitchen is not too updated, and the house has some older feelings to it with wallpaper and things like that. Joe's holding an open house, and buyers have a lot to say. That's an eating area? <laughs> really Where did that come from? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, that's really random. Oh, look at that wallpaper. It's pretty hideous. Hello. Delicious. Hello, <laughs> wallpaper. Oh my god, this wallpaper. It looks like something you'd see in my grandmother's house. <laughs> they really bustle up fruits and vegetables all over the place. This is such a light room. Yeah, they really need to brighten this place up. Well, the hardwood floors was nice, and that's pretty much where it ended. The kitchen needs a lot of work. I would never put an offer on this house. That's a good view. <laughs> the price is too much, and for what I have to put into it, it's not worth it. It's a perfect size, but it just needs some updating. The houses that are really selling quickly in this neighborhood are houses that have been totally updated. Open house is a great success. They love the hardwood floor. They love the cathedral ceilings in the den. They thought there was great square footage. They liked the layout. There were some negative comments. They thought that the decor was dated. The wallpaper and the stippling, they said that they thought that was a bit old fashioned and wasn't really contemporary. I think for the time it was fine and um, I, I'd be curious to see what color she likes to pick there. You probably outgrown the floral wallpaper. I know, I know you have, Taylor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm over it. I think it's really important that we don't give buyers any excuse. It's a lot of work to do all this. I don't want to do all this. <laughs> it's 
going to be some work, but I think it's going to be fun and I think it's going to have a, a big impact. And don't worry, I have a master plan. Well, this house is going to look fantastic. So you just got to trust me and lend a hand. <laughs> Are you ready? We're ready. Excellent. You can paint. <laughs> <laughs> this house has great potential, but at the moment it feels dated and it definitely needs an upgrade. The first room buyers see has to have a really big impact. We'll paint and add a cosy reading area to better define the space. The big sofa will be repositioned and lots of accessories will add colour and style. The configuration of the living room is changing. That accent wall is being neutralised and we're adding a custom wall unit that will give the space a finished feel. Artful touches will make it complete. The kitchen is getting a much needed facelift. The wallpaper is coming down and the breakfast bar will be shortened to make room for a great new storage feature. The dining room is going from dark and dated to bright and contemporary. That black wallpaper is going and so is that old chandelier. New grey chairs will add a chic touch. Because buyers generally like clean and fresh and contemporary. But before I can get my plan underway, we have to pack up the knickknacks. Be careful. There is a lot of work ahead, but the biggest job will be bringing down the wallpaper. Meanwhile, I'm sending Lauren and Taylor to see a house in their neighbourhood that sold recently to help Lauren better understand what buyers are looking for. Nice house. Let's go look inside. This house has 1,800 square feet of space, three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and it sold for $439,000 in only four months. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very open. It's bigger than I thought. It's I like big. the colors, too. It's cool. I think this sold because when you first walk in our house, maybe you don't know which is living room and yeah. den. We just have too much going on. I really like the window. I kind of don't like the carpet, but that's, that's just my thing. <laughs> so it's it's open. I like that they have a little contrast to mix a pop. It's well put together. You should get their decorator. <laughs> See, this is a nice kitchen. <laughs> well, this is a kitchen. I was yeah, in the hallway. The cabinets and the stove. I don't know. This just looks nice, clean. Maybe that works a little bit better right now selling. I can see the difference. I can see that this looks more like a kitchen. It's cool. It's definitely cool. Mm -hmm. OK, so when are we moving in? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that this house sold before we did. I think it's the neutral colors. Everything's more inviting. I would rather walk into this house as opposed to ours. Maybe we can just update a little bit, modernize it, and then hopefully we're going to sell. Let's and then do it. Let's okay. sell it. <laughs> Anyway, tell me about the comp house. No florals? No florals. <laughs> I like the molding, I like the neutral colors, mm -hmm. and I like the window. There was wood on the window, so the, things did pop. Mm -hmm. I liked that it was a, a normal kind of kitchen, not like a long, like ours. Yeah. It, was, it was nice. It, it felt like it was straight out of a catalog. That's what I'd like, nice and neutral. And I promise you, there will be interest, there will be color. It's not going to be a bland box. Mm -hmm. But I just think at the moment, the wallpaper and the, the paint is putting people off. And I think we just need to make it feel a bit more updated. And then I think the house is going to look fantastic. I've got a couple of projects for you. I'm just going to finish off wrapping these trinkets and then we're good to go. The feedback we got from potential buyers was this wallpaper was dated, so it's got to go. Now, we've taken off the first layer, and then we sprayed the walls with a solvent mixed with hot water, and that's going to dissolve the glue and make it easier to scrape this off, so fingers crossed. <sighs> Look at that. You have these great white cabinets that are in great shape. The backsplash is a little bit dated but I have a solution. Okay. We're gonna take care of that with paint. Quick lesson in priming. Take the primer, apply it to the wall, move it back and forth, you're priming. So for this particular surface, because it's glossy, we need to use an adhesion primer. This stuff will stick to anything. That's great. Okay. Priming is done. Let me show you the paint. First reaction, what do you think? I'm not a fan. You're not a fan. OK, well, I happen to know that it'll tie in with the rest of the room very well. OK. OK, so this is a sprayer. It's very, very touchy. 
as soon as you press the trigger, paint is gonna come out. The key is to do long strokes with the gun, release at the end. Think you can handle that? <laughs> and again. Looks good. It looks good. Already the space looks so much bigger. Just taking down the floral wallpaper and painting over that accent wall has made a huge difference. It looks good. Okay, Taylor, we are going to make an area rug. And the best thing about this rug is these only cost five bucks each, so this whole area rug is gonna cost 60 bucks. It's very easy, we're just gonna work out which pattern we want, looks like that. Excellent. Okay, now, what we'll do is we use duct tape to stick them together. It sounds dodgy, but it actually <laughs> will work. So now we just have to flip them all back over. Now, the most important thing is we have to make sure they line up completely straight. Okay, now, you grab that and I'll pull. We'll just line it right up to the edge. And then if we pull it really tight and taut, it's probably slightly unorthodox, this, but I know it's gonna work. <laughs> and that is how you make an area rug. It's pretty good. Excellent job. Well done. I never would have expected it to make a huge rug out of little squares, so it was kind of cool to see it get put together. And it actually looks really good. Pretty proud of myself. Well, thanks for your help today. I think it was a day of first, your first ever spraying of a backsplash, <laughs> and your first attempt at making a rug. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna ask you to leave now and come back when the house is finished. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. You're very nervous. I'm yeah. excited. You're excited, you're nervous, but I think you're going to love it. Okay. But anyway, it's time to get out of here. I'll get back to work. See you later. Bye. Bye. With Lauren and Taylor gone, our crew can really get to work. A little bit of missing baseball might not seem like a big deal, but buyers will notice. It looks shoddy and unfinished. And guess what? Shoddy and unfinished doesn't sell houses. As always, the finishing touches are making all the difference. This is the original chandelier. It needed a facelift desperately, so we spray painted it grey and bought new shades and we've got practically a new chandelier for under 30 bucks. By cutting down the breakfast bar from eight feet to five feet, we freed up the space for this valuable storage area, but still keep the eat-in kitchen buyers like. We bought this bookshelf to replace the existing entertainment unit that didn't fit properly in the alcove, but we've customized it by adding a balance and crown molding and now it looks like it was designed specifically for the space and really completes the look of the room. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Oh my god, this is so cool. This you is like so it? different. Oh my god. Wow. I would have never expected this. Oh my god. Very different. Before this room felt dated and mismatched. Now it will give a great first impression. We opened up the space, it's nice and bright. It's neutral. We wanted to give this room a bit more purpose by adding bookshelves, so it's a sitting room, reading room. I like it, I love it. I think it's really cool. Still added your bits and bobs. We've got the hurricane lamp. Your table's still there, too. OK. Well, that's <laughs> my grandmother's table. We've used most of your furniture and your antique pieces, but we've just sort of dotted them around and used other bits of colour to make it a bit more modern. So, do you like it? I like that you put my old with the modern. What do you think of the palette? It's nice. I think this is something, it's different, and I, I really do like it. Well, I'm glad you like it. In the end, I think this is what buyers are gonna love, so I'm excited to show you the sitting room. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at how much space there is now. It oh looks my God. so cool. I, I mean, feel like everyone's gonna wanna come in and hang out now here. Because before, that was an area that you weren't even using. Mm -hmm. You never played games on that table. It felt really small. 
And now you have one area for entertaining and another one for watching television. When you're selling your house, it's all about showcasing how you can use a room. And now you've got a seating area, a TV area. So what do you think? I'm, I'm really blown away. I'm so different. I would never, I never expected this. This is the rug me and Taylor made. I know it's not your favorite <laughs> color, but it works. I'm so creative. You are wow. very creative. And look, we custom built this, because before your entertainment unit didn't fit in the space, you couldn't close the cupboards. No, it was horrendous. This is so cool and so modern. I love it. What I like about this room is it feels much bigger, it's brighter, it's modern, and it's got double use lids now. But anyway, come on through to the kitchen. I think you'll really like that as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. The kitchen was covered in outdated wallpaper. Now it's fresh and new. I think the kitchen now is a bit more young and fun and, you know, has colour, but that's not all the floral wallpaper. I feel like I'm in a different house right now, which is good. Yeah. Oh, my God, there is a counter still. There's a counter. What we did is we cut it down from 8 foot to 5 foot, so you've still got room for two, two people, but we've got this storage unit, and it gives you a lot of extra space but it still looks pretty I like it I, I like really that. do I like the little area I think that's nicer you've got all this counter space now you've got storage and an eating kitchen so you're kind of ticking all the boxes anyway come on through to the dining room oh my god oh my wow god. oh wow okay oh my god this is so cool this looks bigger this feels bigger I like it it looks so good it looks huge it looks so much bigger well, that's because... No more black wallpaper. <laughs> exactly. And remember the comments from the guys? They were like, they loved how the dining room led straight off from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, it was great to have it, but it felt small and dated. And now, this is a kind of formal dining room that buyers like. We've used a lot of your possessions. We've just updated it. See? The chandelier. Same chandelier. Yeah, that is. Oh. Wow. We, we, we spray painted it and added new, um, new light shades. No and now way. it looks. Oh, because you have one with Yeah. Okay. See? I thought it was I thought it was new. And everything ties in. You've got grey, then you've got these red accents here, red on the walls. This house is now in much better shape. It's going to appeal to buyers more. So all we're going to do now is get some buyers in and hopefully get this house sold. Great. That'd be great. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was really surprised when I walked into the house. I think this really needed to happen. We needed this kind of facelift. I was really nervous, and I think that Sophie really pulled it all together. Everything blends, everything goes together. It's bigger spaces, there's a lot more area, and I think the buyers could really see just moving right in. So we brought them back to see what they think. Oh my God. <laughs> Is this the same place? Wow. That's a, uh, that's a change. It doesn't even look like the same house. Everything works. It looks like something out of a catalog. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love the color. Everything's so open. And thank God the fruit wallpaper is gone. Ramon and Manuela can't sell their New York house. Are we staying or are we leaving? But 10 years of family wear and tear has left its mark. The floor is definitely worn. It's, uh, it's been around for a while. And Manuela's personal touches. I love purple. That's my color. <laughs> are leaving buyers unimpressed. $3.99 is overpriced. But I'm here to help. Don't worry, I have a plan, and it's going to transform this house. With a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. Valley Stream, New York is a quiet commuter town located just outside the borough of Queens. Perfect for families and young professionals alike. It offers a small community vibe, just a short train ride away from the big city. It's not surprising houses here are snapped up quickly, but not this one. This 1,400 square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath home is listed at $399,000 and has been on the market for almost two years. When you're selling a home designed for a large family, it's important to highlight all the spaces that families might gather. And family gatherings are a big part of this house. Ramon and Manuela and their three kids have made some great memories here. But the kids are growing up, so it's time to downsize. It's been our home for 10 years. We loved it. A smaller house will be a lot happier than something so big. 
They don't want to help me clean. That's why they want to move. <laughs> Ramon and Manuela think this house is move-in ready. We've had people come and go, and it just uh, has its hold. The inside is beautiful. For me, it's beautiful. Daughter Samantha thinks otherwise. I guess I'm not seeing what they're seeing, or they see something different. We have a rainbow of colors. I love purple. That's my <laughs> color. Some things are a little outdated. We thought it was kind of cool to have big mirrored wall on the side. You got to stare at it every day. You just want to get rid of it. But two years on the market is starting to take its toll. Are we staying or are we leaving? But I'm tired of this. This is a ranch style house with a big yard, garage, lots of space for cars, which is fantastic because that's what family buyers are looking for in this area. But it's been on the market for two years, so there's obviously a problem. And I'm going to find out what it is. So tell me, what goes on in this room? Well, this is more of the, the family room. The family room. Wherever the TV, the, the biggest TV in the house anyway, that's where we spend a lot of time. Yes. You've got a lot of space in here, but you've got these big old couches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> purple. Whose choice was that? <laughs> hey, I love Take a purple, guess. yes. Um, now, this is the family. I'm going to guess that you didn't use a spirit level to put those paintings up now. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're a little wonky. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Did you put the wallpaper up? No, it was no. like that when we came. Uh huh. But the problem is, is that is very 80s, it's old and it's peeling. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's on the first wall you see when you come into the house. But I love the way this room flows, and you go straight into the dining room, which is lovely. Wow. So when you're sitting here, you look <laughs> at yourself while you're eating. Yes. White chairs. Yes, yes yeah, I think terrible. that was a, yeah. a, a mistake. They looked pretty when we bought yeah. them. And we might need to change the light fixture. It's a little Las Vegas for my taste. When you have very decade-specific fixtures, like this mirrored wall, it sets buyers' minds whirling. They're like, they haven't done anything to this house since the 80s. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I'm going to have to redo the wiring, the central air, the roof? Mm -hmm. And then they're looking for the imperfections rather than looking for the good things. Right. So what's up here? That's Our the, master bedroom. That's the bedroom. Can I show you? Oh, well, let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> My eye is drawn to the furniture oh, yeah. pieces. They don't showcase the room. They're quite sort of... Big. <laughs> big. So do you have a finished basement? Uh, it's sort of uh, finished, but it, I think you'll, well, you'll, you'll see. OK, I'm <laughs> nervous. You made me nervous, <laughs> Rob. The problem with basements is they always feel a bit cold and dark. And the combination of this pale blue and the vinyl, they just feel cold. I feel like, you know, the temperature's dropped about 10 degrees. <laughs> Kind of depressing coming down here. See, if you're depressed, buyers are going to be depressed. I felt exactly the same. It's not a space you really want to spend any time in at all, which is sad because it's a big room and it could really add to the square footage of this house. I've seen your house now, mm -hmm. and I think it's a great family home, but we do need to do some work on it. Yes. But what will be great, first of all, is to get some buyers in, hear their feedback. Houses in this neighborhood are selling for between $355,000 and $380,000. But because their home offers more square footage, Ramon and Manuela have decided to list at $399,000, above the market range. I would say the price was a little high, and we adjusted twice. But still no offers. That's why I've asked Angelica to set up an open house, so I can find out what buyers are saying and report back to the couple. Wow. Wow. It needs to be brightened up and freshened yeah. up in here, you know? It's... The wallpaper could probably go. But yeah, it's just way too dark. Wow. wow. That mirror, Ooh. I'm too self-conscious even. Actually, I'd probably lose weight if the mirror was there. Well, mirror, watching one mirrors of mine. nowadays, I think, are a little bit dated. The buyers in the open house have suggested me that the house needed some repairs. I feel like I'm in an office or something. The floor is definitely worn. It's, uh, it's been around for a while. I don't know what it, it's utilized for many things. So I just don't know what it's, it's like, like office, smiling. workout. Exactly. They need, yeah, I agree. It's, also, it's small. They need to change color and everything, fix it, because everything is ugly. Three ninety nine is overpriced. I've been telling them the price you have to change, and, and that's where we are right now. I mean, just hoping to sell the house. When people came into the foyer, 
they thought the same as me, that the paint colour wasn't maximising the space. Yeah, the colour is a little bit out there, I think. <laughs> That's what I like. They don't exactly. have to like it, you know. People love the idea that there's a family dining room, but they did think it was a bit dated in here. Unfortunately, bars weren't quite as um, nice about the basement. Oh, okay. Is it a gym? Is right. it an office? Right. You know, right. what's this? When you're selling your house, you want to utilise all the space. If it's a useful space, you need to give it a purpose and show it off to buyers. Obviously, a lot more has to be done. Don't worry, I have a plan, and it's going to transform this house. We're looking forward to it, and we're excited. Because our target market is families, I'm using our $5,000 budget to really focus in on the home's family areas. The living room feels dated with that jarring purple paint and the floral wallpaper. I'll remove the floral wallpaper, repaint the walls, and finally reconfigure the furniture to open up the space. The mirrored panels in the dining room scream 80s. So those mirrors are coming down. They'll be replaced with decorative mouldings. I'll paint the walls an elegant sage green and change up that worn-out dining set. The master bedroom is full of dated furniture, which is too big for the room. I'll repaint the walls a calming grey, reposition the bed, and give that giant 80s furniture a facelift. Finished basements are very popular with potential buyers, so we need to finish this basement off. I'll paint over the cool blue tones and cover the old vinyl tile with beautiful oak laminate. More importantly, we're giving this space a purpose. We're creating a family-friendly room that buyers won't be able to resist. Well, we'll call it a lot. So what do you want to destroy first? Let's start with those pictures. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Here you go. All right. When you're selling your house, it's so important to depersonalize. There's lots of family pictures on the wall. Buyers find it very distracting, and it's more difficult for them to imagine themselves in the space. All those CDs, All those CDs and... CDs, look at this. Ready to say Let's goodbye? Goodbye, let's go. And good riddance. I know, right? <laughs> so in the living room, we're starting with a clean slate. Meanwhile, I've sent the couple on a mission to check out another house in the neighborhood. This 1,300 square foot, three bedroom, two bath house, priced well above market range at $479,000, sold in under two months. I really want Ramon and Manuela to see why buyers paid so much more for this comparable property. Wow, it's beautiful. The color, this is a lot nicer, a lot of light. But what's good is they don't have a lot of furniture here too, so even though it's a small space, it doesn't feel like it's cluttered. I feel like I'm in a hotel and I want to stay here. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. So even though our, our room is a little smaller than this, the table really takes up so much space. We definitely have to get rid of that mirror. <laughs> yes. Wow, I love the color, look. The color, yeah. Our basement is, I guess, maybe like three times the size of this, but the lighter color does make the room look bigger. They don't have that many things here, too. That's why it looks so organized. Yeah, again, yeah. I think that's that's our main problem. We just have so much stuff. No, you guys have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't. One of the things I took away from it was that we have too much clutter. And uh, oh, we definitely have to change the colors. Yes. It makes you feel like home. You know, it makes you feel that you want to be there. Back at the house, the team clears out that outdated dining room set. furniture in the master bedroom is wild. It's definitely retro, but not in a good way. We've taken out the big bulky furniture and it already looks bigger. So still a way to go, but I couldn't be more pleased. Now it's time to tackle the wallpaper. Wow. Wow. Hey. <laughs> Sophie. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Our wallpaper. <laughs> I know, but does it look big in here? There's an echo here. There's an echo. That's there how big it is, yes. How is the comp house? Uh, it was an eye-opening experience. Yes, it was beautiful. And even though the room was smaller in size, it actually, with furnished, it, it almost looked as big as this living room is. I bet that's because the furniture was in the right place and wasn't too big for the room. Am I right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And did you feel that the, the one room flowed into another room? Yes, yes. It did. Here, the, the, the paint tones are completely different. Yes. Now, tell me about the basement. Was it finished off? Yes. It was a basement that you want to be in and spend time with your family, you know? Right. So the good news is, your house has great bones, we can make it look fantastic. <laughs> and I have some projects lined up for you. Okay, okay. we're ready to go. Good, well, I'm just going to pull off a bit more of this wallpaper down and I'll see you in a sec. Okay. okay. <laughs> 
any data finishes like this wallpaper are off putting to buyers. They should be the first on your to-do list when putting your home up for sale. In the basement, my right-hand man, Dave, has a fantastic, cost-effective project for Ramon. In a concrete floored basement, laminate floor is the way to go. So I'm going to show you how to install this floor. It's actually really easy. Really? But okay. it works way better with two people. OK. OK? <laughs> Line up your edges, lay it down. And snap it in. Bring it in. Doing the floors with, with David was uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I, first of all, I didn't expect wood, wood laminate floors. I was thinking more along the lines of carpeting, so that took me by surprise. Little trick. Can you see the gap? Yes, I see a little bit of the gap, yes. Done. Gapless. OK. <laughs> I can't wait to see the, uh, the look on my wife's face when she sees the floor, because she doesn't know that uh, we have floors downstairs now. Everyone is working really hard, and the house is looking really good. We've got rid of all those dated design elements, the mirrored wall, the floral wallpaper, and the difference is amazing. Now we're putting the kids to work. OK, so Samantha and Manny, I have a project that you're both going to really enjoy. Now, you recognize this piece? The ugly piece of furniture in our parents' room. OK. <laughs> if I had to describe my parents' style, I'd probably say there was pretty much a lack of it. Now, tell me the first word that comes to your mind when you see this. Um, ridiculous. OK, good. <laughs> Hideous. Now, this may be hideous and ridiculous, but it has a lot of life left. Well, they picked it, not me, so, you know, I'm OK. <laughs> First up, we're going to sand the glossy surface. Not too much. We don't want to sand through. We just want to scuff it up a little. Okay. There's so many products now which will allow you to paint over lacquer and glossy surfaces that this is still a great piece. OK. Now, we're going to roll the paint to apply it but using a fine-tipped brush, that'll smooth it out. So when it dries, it'll be really soft and smooth. In this heat, speed is everything, OK? All right. As Sam and Manny lay it on, in the living room, we're doing the same. We're painting that crazy purple neutral. In the dining room, Dave installs some inexpensive molding to add an instant touch of elegance. And I have something to show Manuela. OK, Manuela, Ooh. I know you usually hang pictures right at the last minute, yeah. but I wanted to show you how to hang pictures properly so in your next house, they're not all wonky. OK. Are you ready to hang some pictures? Yes, I am. We've got three pictures, mm. and we want the middle one to be centred. Right, so that is the centre of the wall. Now, here's the trick. Eye level, the average person, is usually about 74 inches from the floor to the top of the painting. OK. Excellent. Yeah. OK. You hold the wire like that, and then you measure the distance between the wire and the top of the picture, like that. So if okay. you hold it taut for me. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Then we measure from our top mark okay. down and then we know where to put the nail in. So, so you want to hammer it in there. Perfect. Nice. With the homeowner projects complete, it's time to say goodbye to the family. Well, guess what? Your wife knows how to hang pictures. That's right. <laughs> so she's okay. going to teach you how to do it, and then you can hang all the pictures in the next house. OK. Right. Oh, that sounds good. Well, we still got a bit of work to do, so if you wouldn't mind giving us some space, and then you can come back when it's all finished. OK. okay. We'll look forward to it. See Bye. you later. OK. The basement is well on its way to getting finished. We've semi-covered the vinyl flooring with the oak laminate, but already it looks so much warmer. Dave gets back to work priming, painting and adding some smart new shelves. In the master bedroom, we're bringing in our repurposed dresser and assembling a stylish new bed. Because this basement was very bare, we're using one of the sofas from upstairs to create a comfortable seating area downstairs. Now all that's left is some finishing touches.
This moulding costs a couple of bucks per foot. You can get it in any hardware store and we've created a simple and elegant design which buyers will love and will help you achieve your sale price. By placing your bed against a wall with no windows, you can position the bed in the centre of the wall. You create a nice space around the bed and also the symmetry is pleasing on the eye. I'm confident that buyers will feel like they're walking into a spacious and relaxing retreat. Welcome, come in! Hello. Oh. Wow, look at this! Have a look at your new living room. Oh my god. Beautiful. I, I want to check the address out, so I don't think I'm in the right house. Come on, we took away one of your sofas and took away the television. Now you've got all this space. Thank you. Well, at least you left me one sofa. So. We did leave you one sofa. And check it out. Now you look at that beautiful hardwood floor. It really stands wow. out against this paler colour. What do you think of those paintings? <laughs> I miss my, my kids up there, but I do love the painting. And they're level, too. <laughs> they're level. I did it, OK? Thank you. And I like the way I know you guys use this word a lot, the way the colors flow, like everything yes. just kind of matches. <laughs> well, and... interesting you say that, because come on through to the dining room. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. I think it was very decade specific. It was very 80s. Yes, I agree. Whereas yes, this, right. it doesn't age your house. Exactly. You've got these beautiful upholstered chairs and this lovely walnut table. And the best thing about this table is it has leaves, so you can extend it out or make it smaller. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing with this table is you're really showing buyers how big this dining room is. So you're ticking the boxes, bam, mm -hmm. bam, bam. And now I'm going to add one more tick to the box, okay. and that's a pretty cool master bedroom. I'm looking forward to this one. Da, da, da. Drum roll. Da, da, da. Oh, my God. Can I buy this house? <laughs> Before, it felt small. And now, look, there's a lot of space. It's a great bedroom now. Do you recognize this piece of furniture? Yes, I do. <laughs> All we did was we took off the more retro design elements, sanded it down and painted it, and now it fits the room. Master bedrooms are important. Buyers still want a nice retreat to go to at the end of yes. the day. They want a nice bedroom. Again, I feel yes. like I'm in a different house. Yes. <laughs> OK, well, if you think you're in a different house now, you just wait till you see the basement. Oh, wow. God. OK, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> your old desk white. Yes. And ping pong table. Ping pong. <laughs> Before you hated it, it was depressing, yes. right? Now yeah. we've got a family room with a games room and a home office. This is what buyers are looking for. You've got a finished basement. They don't have to spend any money down here. It's all done and it's a real selling feature. I think the house looks absolutely fantastic now. Yes, absolutely. And I think it's got a much better chance of selling now. We just need to have an open house and get those buyers in and go on from there. Yes. Sounds like a great oh. idea. Hopefully <laughs> get this place sold. Yes. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I loved it. I mean, living room, dining room, everything is so different, so elegant. Potential buyers that come in and, see, and have uh, big families like we do, are well, absolutely going to love that space. The basement is, wow, it's such a beautiful place to be. I am so confident this house is going to sell. I'm actually going to put a down payment on another house prior to the open house. <laughs> Ramon and Manuela love the results. So let's see what the potential buyers think. Wow. It's so neutral and it feels warm and you just want to walk in the rest of this house in that dining room? I would just want to eat dinner with my family there. 
and the master bedroom water retreat. Fantastic. It's a place you want to be in. The basement, just total transformation. Yeah, I could see myself easily in that environment. I would definitely consider putting an offer in on this house. Thank you.